Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the inner door panel on your washer. It's a really easy job. All you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we'll begin by removing the door from the washer. The hinges are held in place with a Phillips screw, so we just need to remove those two screws, take the door off, and then we'll set it on a suitable work surface to change the inner door panel. Once we've removed the two screws, we just need to lift up slightly on that door and then pull it out. The hinges have some little arrowhead points on them that fit into slots on the front. And once you push them in the full depth, you just drop it down into position to line up the screw holes. Now we can put the door on a suitable work surface and we'll replace the inner door panel. Now to remove the inner door panel from the outer door panel, there are two screws on each of the hinge that holds it to the side. There are also four screws on the opposing side and two on the bottom. So we'll need to remove all of those Phillips screws. Now all of the painted screws are identical. There'll just be the four screws that hold the hinges to the door that are different. They're a countersunk style of screw. And take note of how those hinges mount to the door before you um, set them aside. And make sure you know which side of the door that the hinges were mounted on. Set all of that aside. Now we can lift up on the inner door panel, slide it out of the outer door panel, and then we're going to set the outer door panel aside. Now we do have to transfer some items from the inner door panel to the new one. Those will be the brackets that hold the screws. There is a metal plate suspended on springs on the inside that needs to come off. That's held in place with two Phillips screws and two large washers. And then there's this large black tube, vent tube in the inner door panel that has to come off as well, as well as the door lock hoop. So we'll start with the door lock hoop. There's a little retaining latch that we need to flip up and we're going to be able to depress these two tabs enough drop that out of the holes on the side that retain it. And then we can lift that up. I'll set that aside. We can wiggle that vent tube out of the bottom. We'll set that aside. We have a grommet on the bottom of the door. We can pull that out as well. Now we'll take the balance ring from the center, remove the two screws. And carefully lift that assembly out of the door. And you'll note there are slots where the springs fit into that plastic projections on the inner door panel. We need to make sure that when we put that in the new one that those line up perfectly. We can set that aside. Now all that remains to do is remove the screw retainers from the inner door panel, pry up on the bottom of them, tilt them up, slide them to the inside, and pull them out. Now the last thing we need to do is remember to take the two single screw retaining brackets from the bottom of the inner door panel. We need to remove those. And typically they're in there a little snugger. So what I use is one of the other retaining brackets and just hook it into the end pull it out a little bit and try to pivot it upwards, slide them back and pull them out. Now the 
last thing we need to do with the inner door panel is to remove the model tag from the bottom because that has all of the pertinent information you'll need for ordering any replacement parts and you can either transfer that to your new inner door panel or put it in a secure place such as on the back of the machine. Now we can discard the old inner door panel and we'll start to reassemble the new panel. You can begin by putting in the counterbalance. And again, make sure that we line up those ends of the springs with the slots in those plastic projections. And we can add the two large washers with the Phillips screw. Next, we'll insert the rubber grommet from the outside. And it has some tabs that will hold it in place once it's fully inserted. insert the door lock hoop into position. We'll depress those two tabs, insert it fully into position. And we'll take our vent, insert the bottom of it into the grommet. And then we'll just snap that down. There's two little plastic tabs that will lock in place under that door lock hoop. Next we'll reinsert the retaining brackets for the screws, drop them in in this manner, tilt them into position. Two single screw retaining brackets, we'll drop those into the position, the same as we did the ones on the sides. And now we're ready to reinstall the inner door panel to the outer door panel. So we'll lay that inner door panel on top of the outer door panel and we'll make sure that we engage this slotted opening with the lip on the outer door panel. And make sure that that engages that firmly. And then we'll insert two of the painted screws into the bottom. Snug goes up. And now we're ready to install the rest of the screws. So we want to keep in mind which way the door hinges were on. So we're going to install the door hinges first. So we'll lay the hinge against the side of the door, insert one of the screws just to line it up, and then install the second one, and then tighten them securely. Follow the same procedure for the second hinge. And then we'll install the four remaining painted screws on the opposing side. Now before we reinstall the door, we'll double check the hinges to make sure that we have them installed properly. When folded up, the tab should be on the same side as the inner door panel, and when opened up, it should expose the concave side of the single hole in the hinge that mounts it to the machine. And now we're ready to reinstall the door.
Now to replace the door, we'll line the hinges up with the slotted holes on the front. Insert them all the way and let them drop down into position so that the screw holes line up with the holes in the hinges. We'll replace the two Phillips screws. Take care that we don't get those in cross threaded. Tighten them securely. And our repair is complete. We told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.